Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So recently, around 15 days back, we had a patient, a 45-year-old male uh, who was diagnosed to be sputum positive pulmonary tuberculosis, initiated on ETT, now presented to our AR today with uh, vomiting, nausea, pain of abdomen and unexplained fatigue. On examination, there was jaundice. So what do you think is the most probable diagnosis? So this is a case of ATT-induced hepatitis. So now what is the criteria? So the criteria of ATT-induced hepatitis depends on symptoms. If the patient has symptoms and the serum bilirubin is two times elevated of normal or the AST and ALT is elevated three times of upper limit of normal. If the patient doesn't have symptoms, then isolated elevation of AST and ALT up to five times of upper limit of normal or baseline is considered as ATT-induced hepatitis. Now you must be wondering what are the signs and symptoms. The classical signs and symptoms are abdominal pain, vomiting, jaundice, unexplained fatigue and altered sensory. So once diagnosed, how do we approach this case? First, exclude all other causes. Send HBSCG, anti-HCV, anti-HAV, PTINR and USG abdomen to rule out all other causes like viral hepatitis. Step number two, stop all the hepatotoxic drugs. Now, see whether the patient urgently needs ATT or patient doesn't urgent, does not need urgently ATT. The patient needs urgent ATT in case of sputum positive pulmonary tuberculosis, then ocular tuberculosis, pericardial tuberculosis, CNS TB or TB meningitis and uh, joint TB or else spine TB or any uh, form of TB that is life threatening. For example, intestinal TB with intestinal obstruction. On the other hand, if there is uh, no urgent need of ATT in conditions like sputum negative pulmonary tuberculosis, TB pleural effusion, TB lymphadenitis, TB ascites, intestinal TB, in all these cases, uh, what we can do is we can wait for one more one more week, get a repeat LFT. If the repeat, repeat LFT is less than two times upper limit of normal, then we can start the ATT in these kind of patients. However, in our case, our patient was a case of sputum positive pulmonary tuberculosis and he urgently requires ATT. So how do we approach in this case? First, we have to switch to non-hepatotoxic drugs. Usually, we uh, use a combination of fluoroquinolone, that is levofloxacin, along with ethambutal combination. Some guidelines also recommend using aminoglycosides to this combination. After starting with levofloxacin and ethambutal, after one week, we'll repeat the LFT. And if AST, ALT is less than two times of upper limit of normal, then we'll follow something called as sequential and incremental method. What is the sequential method? Sequential method being, we initiate one drug after the other drug in a sequence manner that is from lowest level of hepatotoxicity to the highest level of hepatotoxicity. For example, we'll start with uh, rifampicin. After one week, we'll start with isoniazid, and after one week, we'll start with pyrethromat. Care should be taken that LFT remains normal in during these switches. Okay, then what is this incremental method? Incremental method is whatever drug we start, we start with the lowest possible dose on the day one. We gradually increase the dose to day four to reach a maximum dose on day four. Then five, six, seven day, we continue the same dose of drug. On the eighth day, repeat LFT. If the re repeat LFT, AST, ALT is less than upper uh, two times of our upper limit of normal, then start one more drug. So once the patient uh, tolerates sequential as well as incremental method of initiation of ATT, then we'll switch the patient to fixed dose combination of ATT. From that day onwards, we'll count the duration of the ATT. So how do we manage if the patient is already a known case of liver disease? To approach this, kindly follow this table. So summarizing it, check whether the patient fits into the criteria for ATT induced hepatitis. Second, exclude all other causes. Third, check stop all the hepatotoxic drugs and check if the patient urgently needs ATT. If the uh, patient urgently needs ATT, start on non-hepatotoxic drugs first, followed by sequential and incremental method, followed by fixed drug combination of ATT. So kindly follow the page for more such content.